Hey guys, welcome to another episode in the deep playthrough of Metro Exodus Enhanced Edition. We are making our way back to the base, the train. After that, hopefully we will get some, uh, or during it, we will get some more medicine and bullets and our next objective. And then before heading out to that objective, I want to check if there is anything on that boat over there, whether I can make my way through it over these ice uh, yeah pieces how do you call them ice floats ice yeah, I would say piece maybe wonder how far we can backtrack by the way Also now it really you can get a feel of how busy everything is as regards to the fauna and the flora. And I also remember the area over there. Of course I'm now starting all over. And I for sure don't mind. Actually really like it with the new lighting engine. But it also does mean doing some repetition because in yeah i already uploaded the playthrough like two years ago or at least the beginning of it there i already went over there and cleared it all out but whatever i think this game is worth it playing it twice for sure and what i'm actually looking forward to is that area that was used a lot in the pre-release footage that really lush foresty area i think that maybe yeah that's the, you have like a de you have like a wintry section you have a desert section the desert section i left off the in the previous uh, episode uh, playthrough that's where i came i think that's the second big open area and then you have a lush forest section and then i'm not sure whether there's still another one but i'm looking forward to that lush forest section so in that sense having to replay stuff here is a little bit annoying because it only takes longer before i get to the new parts on the other hand ah, you see it does pay off maybe oh shit. He's almost dying, uh, Archim. But it does seem to... Uh, what did I want to say? Uh, that it pays off getting all the way to the extreme of the map here. But I don't think it will actually. don't think there's anything on that boat. But let's check it anyways. I don't have a lot of bullets, so maybe not even any. But anyway, so there's a little bit of uh, duplication, as I already started to play through earlier. Holy oh, shit, I saw a shadow. Uh, there it is. Right, let's just pretend it's not there. Oh shit! <coughs> Somehow these are fake. This is fake ice, and I'm also on the brink of radiation poisoning. So let's just get the hell out of here. Um, anywho, what I want to say is that um, yeah, so there's a bit of duplication, but on the other hand. Shit, where is it? There it is. Oh, fuck. Okay, see you later, dudes. On the other hand... Oh, no, no, no. Oh, shit. Pretty big chance I will be picked up in the air up here.
Oh shit. That was a close one. Oh shit. Artem is out of stamina. Ah, nice. Left him behind. Um, anywho, I made uh, the conscious decision actually to start over because, and I really don't mind because it's yeah, it's such a different game. The, the lighting, of course, I don't really remember exactly how it looked before, but it's just even if it's not that big of a change, it's still an amazing game in the visual department like pretty and also the tech behind it it's just pretty groundbreaking like having it fully dynamic light sources no more manual placed <laughs> fake lighting so i don't mind having to play over some of the parts <coughs> anything in here get into these cards that already was in this car actually pretty quick imagine surviving a nuclear event and then indeed having um, all these weird creatures <coughs> popping up <coughs> all right let's just continue to the station You're alive! <laughs> Impressive after the horrors Duke told us about. Let's go. Dad's talking to Katya right now. Right, they are right. so nice. Both Katya and her daughter. And Katya's medical training will come in handy. Thank you for the information, Katya. But there is one more question I need to ask. But of course. What do you know of the occupation forces? Huh? I'm sorry, I don't quite get what you... So, you've never seen any foreign army in this area? No, I haven't seen any army. But we haven't really been to any important places. I see. Hmm. Artem, a moment. Thank you, Artyom. If not for you, we'd never have escaped that place. They were so busy looking for you. for you. And then Anna picked us up. Yes, Uncle Artyom. Thank you. And your wife is great. She's kind and really strong. Thank you, Auntie Anna. There you go, Artyom. As I always said, you lucked out with me. We all lucked out with Anna. She's a total dead eye. Now I only wish your mom could come with us too. With a real medic, we'd become unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> Katya, Nastya, come have some tea. Don't be shy. Thank you. So, Katya, where are you uh, from? The Southern Ural. A couple of years ago, we heard there was this great place on the Volga, so we made the journey. Who can have known that fanatics were in control now? And they say this place used to be great. Did you come with your husband? There were 15 of us, but now only Nastya and I are alive. I, I'm sorry. Hey, why are you so gloomy? Don't you like the tea? I do. Oh, when the gargoyle attacked, Nastya lost her teddy. The beast carried it away. Oh, 
Must have thought it was alive. Oh, don't you worry. We'll find your teddy. Huh. We call them demons in Moscow. And you call them gargoyles. Yes. Where did those things crawl out from, I wonder? Well, there's radiation, chemical weapons and stuff. Nature just went strange. Yeah, the planet's been trashed. No wonder Silantius had such a hold over everyone here, with people seeing things like that every day. Poor fools. They live in darkness and die just like that, ridden with disease. I'm a trained nurse, but Silantius wouldn't even hear of me treating anyone. He said God claims his own. He only cares about feeding their bodies to that fish once they die. He says it's their sure way into heaven. I tried doing something to help them, but no, it's a sin. And then he just locked us up in that tower. And somehow a stupid flashlight made it worse. Uncle Crest gave me the flashlight, but Solantius got mad and smashed it. The child he did, and then he cursed Crest. Eerily so realistic. The man had to hide in the port. It's a basement layer, so Silentius can get him there. He also wanted to make mommy marry him, but she didn't want to. He's old and nasty. Ah. Yes, the gospel of the damn fish says nothing about marriage. I was lucky to protect my daughter. That crazy creep, he's just so... Will you take us away from here, please? Of course we will. Don't you worry. Alright, what was his name again? Pedro or... I don't remember. Alright, let's talk with Miller. Artyom, come over here, please. Great job saving them, Artyom. Katya here has provided us with vital information. A mechanic called Crest is hiding in the port. His help is required if we are to fix the Aurora in the foreseeable future. Miramak can't handle the repairs alone. So, once you're ready, go to the port and invite Crest to join us. And then get back ASAP. We'll have to decide what to do about the fanatics on that bridge. Now we know for sure that the bridge is in working order. They crossed it last year when they got here. Well, at least some things are clearer now. But still, so many questions. <sighs> there might not even be any enemy forces around here at all. They probably get us in the key regions only. <sighs> in any case, we'll learn everything once we reach Yamantau. From the top source. The Moscow government is essentially a local council, to put things in perspective. So, now we just need to figure out how to cross this goddamn bridge. All right. Damn. What do I even do about this? I could replace the cylinder, but there's just no spare. I've got to fix this one. And I don't even know where to start. It uh, usually takes a whole workshop to fix things like that. So you're going to the port to look for that mechanic? Uh, please, do your best. Otherwise, we might as well get used to this place. All right. Hi, Artyom. Hello again, Artyom. You did great out there. Or so everyone says. <laughs> in the meantime, we have dug in here. We've been waiting for the occupying forces, but so far we have only seen winged and four-legged ones. <laughs> Our ecology seems to sit badly with them. <laughs> Some bandit-looking characters in the distance, too. So, Artyom, are you going to the port? Yes. There's nobody there. At least, I haven't seen any normal people. But there sure are mutants, so you'd better take care. Take care, Artyom? The Scourge of the Dark Ones? <laughs> Go get them all, Artyom. They'd better hope they can run fast enough. 
Alrighty. By the way, Alyosha, my friend, that Katya lady Anna brought in? She's a nurse, so maybe you should have her look at your wound, huh? It'd make a great opener for getting acquainted, you know? <laughs> no dice. Stepan's all over her with his rugged charm. Ah, that was dance. his name. Stepan. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Alasha or something. Artyom, are you going to the port? True. I'm going to relieve Alyosha now, so I can't come with you. His hand is still giving him trouble. So Katya being a nurse is just perfect. It will make convincing Dad to take them along so much easier. I'm going to talk to him about that later. Besides, he doesn't really want to leave them here himself. I can see that. But he's so hung up on those occupying forces, he can't even think of anything else. All right, you go run that errand for my father now. Just be careful out there. You know I worry about you. True, true. There was like this one other ship I wanted to check out. And it's the one over there. Probably cannot make it there anyways. But let's try it. And now I already forgot this guy's name. Padel... Depak... Stepan, that was it. And you would think Stefan, but it's with a P, Stepan. And How do you like the backpack? Is it comfortable? Can you operate stealthily with it? This is... Toranek or something, the guy with the gun I have a name. present for you, here. A Tihar rifle. Ring any bells? It's pneumatic, but it still pecks a wallop. Plus, making bullets for it is easy as pie, even in the field. Just remember to keep that pressure up, otherwise you might as well be spitting him out yourself. Other than that, it will never fail you. I did my best. So, bear it with honor. <laughs> and don't forget to drop by from time to time. I have a few ideas for improving it. Nice. Very nice. Now it's all coming back to me. really like this gun. Um, there's not much over there. Let's check over here. Now where is that diary? I don't understand. Our first contact with an extra Moscow civilization is a complete failure. Loke society of horse technology, Katja and Nastya spoke fondly of another traveler who got stranded in these parts, Crest. He happens to be a mechanic in Yarmak will Yermak. Right, so that's the train dude, Yermak. We'll need all the help he can get if we are to restore the Aurora back to running condition anytime soon. The colonel is ready to offer him a permanent position in our crew, but I sure hope he'll be inclined to accept. Okay, so Yermak is the train dude, still trying to get all those names in my head. But that diary on the table that was here before is not here anymore, which is a bit of a bummer. Because I want to check out how this dude call was called again. It was not Kalashnikov, but it was some kind of... Uh, a family name that created another rifle and bared the, bore the same name. Or whatever. Artyom, uh, I took some measurements. There is one hell of a radioactive hotspot between this place and the port. 
The readings are off the scale. So you better take a boat. We found one and docked it under the bridge. Well, unless you're afraid of the monster. Duke told us over the radio. Artyom? Afraid? Bullshit. Besides, the monster is just a catfish. After the nuking, the fallout got washed off into the rivers and settled down the sediment. Catfish are bottom dwellers, so they got hit worse. But this one wasn't so bad, by the way. I was careful and never got attacked. I, I don't think it will attack if you keep quiet. It's no alligator, after all. By the way, did you see any of those? Uh, back in the States, I mean. It's not like they were all over the place there, like bears in Russia. You know? Though, I've been to Florida once and visited an alligator farm there. I haven't seen one since I joined the Marines, though. Middle East, Moscow, the Embassy, you know. I heard Miller saved you from a lynching. When shit hit the fan? Yep. I'd rather not talk about it, though. Alright, that was a good tip for that big monster. If you stay quiet, it may not attack. Which is what I was already expecting, but in the previous episode, eventually they did attack. I'm not sure whether I did something wrong or how that works. But let's check out that little boat over there. I think I cannot walk on this ice here, but let's just try it anyways. Let's just jump on it. Here we go. <coughs> ah, no, it's really fake ice. That <coughs> All right, let's just assume there's nothing on that little boat over there. I could maybe row through it, but I think there is a landmass in between, so. Let's just leave it and continue on our mission. Being the port. But let's first just see if I really fully checked out the roads over here I think I did but there maybe something I overlooked and before doing that let's create some medkits. One, two, three. Right, I for sure. Oh, you should. I for sure checked out that carriage and I think I checked out the rest as well but let's double check and also on the map uh, nothing on the map I checked out the tractor I checked out the bus over there Holy shit, I don't remember this weather from when I initially played the game. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I think I checked it all out. No 
need to go back there. We could go over there. I'm probably going too far. Out of the direction. There may be enemies over there. I don't know. But we are now nearly there. So let's just check out this little dwelling. Maybe I already did. So I don't even remember. Holy shit, I see dudes over there. Oh, see you later, dude. Alright, that was a stupid thing to do. Come on, Archim. Get the hell out of there. Man, it takes quite a long while for his stamina to get back up. Alright. Let's leave those guys be. And let's just assume this area is cleared out. Almost like you're running slower against the wind than with the wind. Holy shit. Was that gunfire or was that lighting? Lightning. Right, to the port is the next objective. But of course not. Without checking if there's anything here. The suggestion was to get a boat. <laughs> Alright, let's just take the bridge. So I have like this little side mission with that teddy bear that the little girl that a monster took from the little girl. And I remember it's actually somewhere over here. There's like an, a bunker of some sort. So we can also just skip the boat and do it by land. Although there were quite a lot of shrimps out here. And maybe not only shrimps. Maybe those dog wolf like creatures as well. Yes, that's the guy the ones I mean. Let's 
quite expensive. Right, let's see how much we have left over. Can I see it? Sniper, stop, grip and four ends. Um, yeah, I find it a little bit annoying that there is simply no way to check how much bullets you have without the HUD. Um, let's craft some anyways to be sure. Ah! I assume that's the number, 25 over there. And it costs... Holy shit. I think it costs about 10 to create 10. It was making all that noise. Alright. Am I right? So, crafting cost 10 scrap. And I think you also received 10 balls. These 50 millimeter steel, millimeter steel balls of pride out of bearings became the ideal ammo for some makeshift weapons due to their smooth finish and near ubi ubiquity. Right. So, I don't have any scrap left. At least I have 45. pallets yeah, you wonder is there something over there there's a body lying about there's even a house over there let's go and check it out can I walk this? no I'm sure I cannot I always like to approach the main objective in like a circumventing way. First do everything in the outside radius and then work your way inwards. So that as soon as you get to your primary objective that you got all the upgrades and loot and stuff lying about. <laughs> um, in your inventory. So I could go there but man those are some big ass shrimps nope I was looking for my binoculars but I still don't have it all right I'm pretty sure around the corner over there is some kind of a bunker There it is. There's a ship. There's so much things around. Uh, I think I need to get in there from the top. To be honest. And I think there will be some enemies on top of there. Looks like an American flag. Not sure why. Oh shit, that's what I mean. I 
could just take them out or leave them be. Crafting costs are the same. Ah, I can craft ammunition over here. 38 are that revolt handgun ammo. 13 assault rifle. 11 buckshot. Alright. And where can I see the state of the weapon? That's what I'm wondering about. Ah, and I can craft some gas mask repair. Still pretty good. Spartan helmets. Alright. We have electrical equipment. And we have a carrier vest. And what do we have here? A bracer. A sturdy wrist guard provides protection against animal attacks and serves as a convenient mount for additional survival facilitating devices. Alright, what do we have? Yeah, I have like the anti-radiation or the radiation uh, indicator, uh, a clock and a stealth uh, indicator. And here we would get, we keep everything but we would get a compass, which is pretty cool. The compass attached to your brace will always point in the direction you should be heading. Yeah, let's just install it. Why not? I think that is what I found in that airplane. It looks like um, a compass. Like that, that greenish outlined uh, arrow in the compass. It's what I think I noticed in that airplane. So it, that was a good trip after all, that airplane. <coughs> um, Alright, then we have over here... Ah, that's nice, we have weapon cleaning. So this one is totally run down. And this one as well. And this one, yeah. I hardly used it. And it's totally run down let's just clean it oh shit I need fluid for that god damn it alright so all my weapons are totally uh, dirty so the best thing to do I would say is get rid of one of the kalash I think that's this one and swap it out for the shotgun so can I take that helmet? no and let's check the status of this one weapon um, yeah, it's also pretty dirty. It only has like three cleaning bars. Whatever. What do we have here? Double barrels. Or a short barrel. Let's just do double barrel. Let's 
just lose this one. I would like to have a stock, but okay. I have a shotgun pistol, so to say. If only there would be some fluid over here. Ah, isn't it? Yes, nice, that's fluid. Isn't there anything else hidden around? By the way, I'm hitting the 40 minute marker. I have to end the episode, but let's see if we can clean a bit. And then mainly let's do this. Ah, I only have two extra fluids. So that's not going to work. Can I pick up the fluid off there? No. Alright. Not much of an improvement, I would say. How can I quickly... Ah, okay, holding the Y button. Not much of an improvement. Swapping out between the rifles is holding the Y button, I think at least. No. Pressing it is swapping out between the regular bullets and holding it is getting the pneumatic gun out. And those rabbits are pretty fun. Um, yeah, not much of an improvement, but it is what it is. I will be entering this bunker. I think there is like a, a head somewhere over here in the next episode. Guys, I um, hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you there. And for the meantime, do not forget, always do keep on gaming. See you later.